Hello everyone, in previous tutorial we stopped on this stage, so we already finished our first level and we are ready to start the second level. As you can see we have here the some doors, we have here the uh, our walls and uh, some curtain walls too. But before we will continue, I wanna make my work more um, use-friendly, use usable and want to redo something so what i mean for example as you can see here is my section box if i will switching off the my section box as you can see the mine uh, line is going now inside to the my project this is not so cool if i will switch it on uh now my section box it's not I have the different size notice like it was previous one so we should create the scope box let's go to the level zero let's say and here you will find the scope box under the um, under the view you will find the scope box sorry uh, let's uh, click the on the scope box and what you need you need only to select uh, your let's say future view here as you can see we have the naming of this scope box we have the height of this scope box and let's create the naming and for example this is will be level one why not we will call it level one uh, actually we should create uh, um, level level one yes and height will be four meter okay four meter and now i will create my section box as you can see my scope boxes sorry this is my mistake it's not section box this is scope box i already did it uh where is that i said i did it but i didn't level level one four meter and let's create it again now we did it and let's rename our levels because uh, as i don't know how in your country but uh, in my country the level starting from the one not from the zero but uh, when I was studying, there was starting from the ground floor. So the level one starting like in the second floor. Uh, so here will be uh, level one. And now it will be more clear for us. As you can see, level one, level two. And we understand this is scope box only for level one. So our scope box, it's perfectly. It's so gentle on our level but what's going on on the 3d so let's select our scope box and just click on section box in 3d and we can see correctly our section uh, our scope box and as you can see now we can see only this level and the, our view it's always will be like that so uh before i will do something i will and select this uh, my uh, section box as you can see and now i will choose for this view as you can see here is the my 3d view let's rename this view and we will call it level level one the level one will be have the own scope box we should call it level one and as you can see we get clear and uh, scope box now showing us only that part which we want and it's never will go anywhere so you can as you can see you cannot uncheck this section box and it always will be like that so you no need to redo your 3d view yeah this is a small tutorial about the scope box i think you can find a lot of the things in my um, channel about the scope box about everything but we are continue and we are going to the level two let's go to the level two here is the, our previous level, how I can see it. Um, as you can see here, I have the underlay. Underlay base level one. We can switch it off and you not will see anything. But better, I want to understand what's going on in the level uh, besides. So I can see it and this is pretty awesome for us. So let's, uh, I will find the my other, uh, where is the my give me a second uh, i will find the my oh uh, where is that it's here no it's here and i need the reference plane uh, references and here's level this is level one i think let me i'll check yeah this is level one and uh, i need level two underground floor this is that one yeah this is the level two so the, we need only that one so let's load it inside of the project i don't think so we will use or we can use it like a reference let's see 
or maybe we will don't use it like a references let let me I will change the section of this uh, of this drawing I will go to the architecture I need only the line and let's say this is 900 millimeters as always yeah it's around 900 millimeters actually and let's scale it down a bit just a bit okay done now it looks perfectly but anyway this is only the picture you cannot follow it on the hundred percent anyway I, I i will just use it like a reference not like a guideline okay as you can see it's mm, kind of same but kind of doesn't mean this is totally same okay i will leave it as it is and what we can see it so the first thing i wanna uh, unswitch it my view range to the none we will use it later on and as you can see here is the my uh, floor this big one this is my floor and here is the my walls so let's draw the external walls where is the my external walls we have the special wall one here the external walls and let's draw it as you can see i am not so accurate uh, give me a second finish face I'm not so accurate because I will check my previous level and I will try to connect my previous level and this level. So doesn't for me doesn't matter what's going on on this uh, reference, uh, on this reference picture because uh, I will follow my own uh, drawings. Uh, okay, and we need trim. Here we are. Here the big wall as you can see, and it's it, it's a bit strange. Uh, as you can see, the wall, uh, the construction wall is going till here and door also till here, so it's a bit strange the solution. But anyway, it's not it's the it's not my design, and maybe I, I I'm wrong. I don't know. So I will draw it one by one. Just give me a second. It's not taking a lot of the time, you no need to rush anyway, I just draw it, follow it and you will get, you will achieve the nice result. Uh, once you will finish to create it, I'm already on the way, like that and like that, okay, and we need one more, it will be here, actually not one more, we need two more, the second one is here. As you can see, when it's a picture, you cannot clearly understand where is the uh, the difference of the thickness of the wall. Yeah, this is really terrible because uh, you're not getting your clean drawing. I will select now all the my walls. Yes, and I will check is it unconnected for meter perfectly. Let's go to the east view and what I need now. I will copy the my level. Let's copy the level. And as you can see now it's level three. Yeah, it's perfect. I will go back to the my level one or level two. Sorry, I will select all the my walls and I will connect it to the level three. So because it will be perfect when uh, your uh, level not just unconst uncon unconstrained. So it should be connected to somewhere. I will use arrow key to mo do it more clearly. And now we will draw just the floor to continue work not with the floor yeah this is a strange thing so let me check uh what he has the using what they using here oh okay here as you can see uh we have a, a handrail we will do it a bit later on not right now okay let me i will go back and with my floor uh doesn't matter which floor we will use right now i will use the timber one but we will change it later on because uh, now it's just matter for us not the floor uh we want to connect our previous level and our uh new level to the right position so this is our idea for now and let's connect it here let's say okay don't attach we no need to attach it okay done uh where's the my picture uh first i wanna hide my uh, floor let me i will hide just double h click double h and you will hide temporary as you can see here i will select the my picture you can do the same thing double uh, h and you will hide it now let's see what's going on below this level uh let's go to the level one and as you can see our wall it's not correct let's use the align as i said the my reference is my drawing and that's why i will use a line key by my drawing 
And as you can see here, we have like really interesting situation because our wall, it's not straight. This is really interesting. Is it straight? Yes, looks like it's straight. So I should go to the level below and oh, this is this is frame of our door. Let's change the graphic to the course and we not will see any frame. Yeah, let's say this is some small tips for you. Use the tab key to find here the small dot. Let me, I will find here the small dot. And let me, I will find here. Where is that dot? I cannot find the dot. We cannot find the dot. Okay, we will do this gently and manually. Okay, like that. And now I will select this one and I will connect it to that. Okay, as you can see point to point this is what we want okay so let's continue here we cannot follow the previous level but here we can as you can see here is the something like a column actually this is just a um, uh, forcement and uh, we should follow it let's use the align key again we will find the point here and we will find the this age and as you can see now it looks more better as you can see here we have that that situation actually i will follow the previous level wall this is will be better for us i know this is already not we are not actually not already following the drawing from uh this building but as i said this is not clear drawing this is just a sample and it's hard to follow it when you are an architect Okay, now as you can see, it's much, much better. Uh, okay, everywhere, everywhere it looks okay. Yeah, I think this is okay. Maybe that one also should... Let me, I will place it till this angle. Le ah, not that one. Let me, I will use again tab key, find this dot and use this H and as you can see now it's much better let's use dimension to get our result more smooth I will use dimension internal size and I get this dimension as and as you know I not believe on this number I will go to the edit type and for now I will change the my mm, the units I wanna see not only 10 I wanna see uh three decimal places like that let's go and as you can see this not clear number that what i'm saying so it will be 3000 only here oh this is my mistake 3000 okay much better right so when we will check each one like this way so if you're an architect you understand you will always see some archicad drawings some aftercad drawings some uh, old hand draw drawings and all these drawings you should check before you will say okay i will live like that no you should check it 2000 millimeters and as you can see it's much much better becoming and let's use dimension and as you can see from this way uh, to this age we again get not not right numbers I don't like it we will do 550 much better maybe we will go to the level below but we can do it actually right here too so let me I will, I will place it just left click as you can see, I can do, I can even change my level, uh, which is uh, on the below level. I mean, this is level one and I can change it on the level two. How I can do that? Just by this thing. Oh, not this thing. Select uh, um, underlay elements, this one. Without that one, I cannot select it, as you can see. With that one, I can select it, as you can see. Okay, so this is much better because you can do it in one time. You don't need just uh, fly below one, I mean, to go to the one level, to the level one and to the level two. So you don't need to do that. Okay, here we have this number and here we have this number, as you can see. I will leave this one number because actually here we have the angle. This is not mistake. We will leave as it is. Let me, I will go here, dimension on this side. Okay, here it's also not cool number. Let me, I will do 3200 millimeter and it's much better. Let me, I will find again dimension. So just one by one, we not, we not rushing anywhere. We want to get perfect result. 
550 this is will be pretty awesome let me i will use again dimension here okay as you can see this is pretty close uh let me i will do 1000 only this is only for the door entrance as you know here it will be door entrance uh again dimension from this side to this side okay 2300 will be perfect okay we will leave as it is you, you actually you can leave for your uh, dimension but i don't wanna it leave it uh, so for me it doesn't matter and as you can see here we get really strange situation because uh, we should change this main wall and we are we will change it 2500 millimeter yes and what i'm gonna do i will use the line and i will correct the my previous level yes it's possible sometimes the previous level is also not right and as you can see we get result uh, except this one so or maybe this one so let me i will do that okay like this and that one till this angle okay we get it uh let me i will check only this one one more time and we're done with that okay and as you can see this is also not cool number so here will be 1000 millimeter 1000 millimeter again align align this to that and as you can see now everything looks all right okay we're done with that uh we can do now mo one more section box actually you can see here the one section box uh which is level one uh, actually, later on I will show you how you can uh, use the um, filters to not see the, for example, level, uh, the se section box which is not uh, applying on this level. Uh, we should create the new one section box. Let's, let me, I will go to the, um, I will go to the view section box scope box actually scope box and section box working in the same position but uh, section box uh, it's a uh, temporary uh, scope box it's uh, so you can save it so let's say like that uh, okay this is level level two and as i said before four meter same four meter let me i will place it just approximately okay here nice uh let me i will copy this view i will just duplicate as you can see i will rename it it's it's really simple i will rename it like level two but the difference is uh, as you can see my 3d view using the scope box level one once you will change to the level two you will see the level two really nice thing you don't need so uh, just always select some walls to see where where, where your for example will level okay here we are uh, let me I will go here and i will reset temporary view as you can see we have here the our um, floor let me I will go back and as you can see here is the my floor actually perfect and the difference my scope box not taking this uh this level but i want I will select this scope box and I will say I want to see my floor 2 so it will go a bit deeper. Now if I will go to the level 2 again, now I can see the my floor 2. So now I should uh, now I should what I do. I will select all this wall on the level before beside and I can attach it to the floor. Or I can do the another thing. I can select my floor, just double click, enter and automatically it will do for you Unjoin, delete element and done and it's done as you can see but some elements it's still not attached let's let me i will do it manually uh it cannot be attached it happens sometimes yeah I, I know why it cannot be attached as you can see we changed the boundary that's why we should use the align key let me i will I will do it more correct because we didn't it okay and that one should go to here and that line I will go to top view yeah perfect thing in Revit you can work in 3d and this is not wrong actually this is helping you to uh, escape from the uh, clash detective as you know the clashing it's uh, the must hardest thing what you will find in Revit when you will work it working uh, with the model actually not only in Revit sorry guys who working in the Archicad or the other beam software 
it's always everywhere but uh, i'm working in revit that's why i'm saying revit so yes let's say okay let's attach and as you can see we not get any wrong um, message from the Revit and as you can see we get result so this is perfect this is what I want uh, first thing what I don't like I don't like when I can see for example the my um, my floor on the facade so this is what I don't like uh, you have a lot of the ways how you can solve this problem you can for example place your uh, wall deeper you can unjoin it or you can go to the for example join and switch join and you can for example select your floor and select your um, and se select your wall and change uh, which type of the joints so this is only up to you if you want to do that you can do that let me will connect it okay like that and the same thing you can do the, the, on the level before but this is already uh, things about the nice uh, looking we will do it later on not right now so we are not talking about this topic right now let me I will go back to the level 2 and we should now working with the our uh, door and walls okay so where is the our uh, I cannot see it let me I will hide it uh, let me I will hide it always uh, yes and i can see my doors we will place doors right don't forget one thing if you cannot see properly the wall you can always change your view to the warframe mode and you will see it actually i cannot see it right now let me i will change to the fine yeah it happens because on the course you we have hatching inside our wall actually you can change in even to the medium one and it will be perfect and as you can see we have here the small balcony we have here the wall and actually better to use it here not just window or i mean the um, doors better to use it here um, curtain wall uh let i will check the my pictures and as you can see yes here actually maybe maybe we can here use even the wall oh i mean doors yeah we will use here the doors here actually the curtain wall but it's not anywhere else yeah it looks like a door you can actually create the curtain wall so this is not mistake okay let me I will find some uh, doors I not will use any specific doors we will create it later on so we're not thinking about that right now let me I will place one door here one door here as you can see here is the my frame of the door going inside to the wall we should uh, check it fix it up as you can see I change here the location of the my wall yes this is uh, this true it's my it's actually not mistake I did it because I think this is will be better because my drawings it's not totally correct which I have okay let me I will change it to the view to the course I will select my door and as you can see we get here the trouble actually we should change the uh, width of our door to the 900 much better maybe even smaller we will do 800 millimeter and place it somewhere here 60 millimeters and 150 millimeters and let's see here it should be no not less than 50 millimeters if you will do less it will be hard to install it so as you understand here is the 20 millimeters we have to let me I will change it also to the 50 millimeters much better here it doesn't matter actually but 300 uh, 300 also too much we will do 150 millimeter here as you can see zero let me I will use the arrow key, arrow key and I will say this is 50 uh, we change we, we just push it our wall as you can see and we have the reason why because uh, this is wall underlay it's the same wall okay the external wall we will play uh, i mean the external doors we will place it later on let me find here do you have some window yeah i have here the sound window here as you can see sliding one uh here we have like mm, maybe a curtain wall will be here is much better as you can see actually no here we have the small window 
Okay, we will do it later on, but not right now. Okay, we're done with that. Uh, let me, I will go back to the level one and we should finish now on the level one, uh, place it our uh, floor. Let's go to the floor and let me, I will place the floor. Actually, I will place the floor inside on the middle. Uh, I mean, the on the core of our wall. This is not mistake. Uh, as I said, as I'm always saying in Revit, we don't have the right way and wrong way. We have the, a lot of ways. Uh, only the reason, can you use this way to solve a problem or no? Only this reason. Let's say, okay, we did it. Maybe this one. Oh, no, it's okay. Hidden one. Let me, I will check this one. Actually, that one will go till here. You will see what I'm doing right now. Like that. Okay, much better. Actually not. Okay. <laughs> Let's say okay. Now exactly it's going to on the door line. Here we will do the same thing because it should be go on the door line. I'm using the sli uh, slice to the slice my lines. Let's connect it and let's say OK. Done. Do you have any external? Aha, uh -huh, we have here too. Double click. Oh, sorry, we're going to the inside of the family. Don't save it. Let's, let's say we'll do the same thing here. One, two, three. Trim, 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 trim. Slice, and again trim. I'm using the hotkey. If you don't know what I'm using right now, just look around here. For example, when I'm using the slice key, uh, hotkey, as you can see, Revit automatically will select this split. When I'm using the trim, it's automatically will select this stream so you can also uh, always the stop my video and check what I have selected for example I want to rotate I using the rotate I want to move I'm using the move I want to copy I'm using the copy I want to hide it I'm using the height I want to copy some uh, for example the line like that oh I cannot copy this line <laughs> sorry <laughs> anyway you just look on this part and you will see always which type of the hotkey I used. Okay, I done with that. Uh, let me, I will go back to the 3D view. And as you can see, we are already on the halfway. On the next tutorial, we will finish our roof and we will finish the second floor with all this uh, stuff. And after that, we will go back to the uh, zero level, underground level. We will finish that one and we will start to create the train. So we have a, like more three or four tutorials more. Just keep on, to keep in touch, uh, try to follow me. And when we will finish this building, you can say you work like a professional. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.